all new today on The Doctors. The dreaded buffalo hump. Weight loss won't make it go away, but we'll show you a quick procedure that will. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. How to get rid of an embarrassing buffalo hump on your back. And could it be a sign of something serious? That's later. Everyone stores body fat differently in their thighs and their belly, and in Lydia's case, in a large hump on her back. And although Lydia is trying to lose weight, that back bump just won't go away. About three years ago, I noticed that I had a slight hump on my back. The hump started out the size of a quarter, but now it feels like it's like the size of almost a grapefruit. The doctor's advice was to start losing weight, and then eventually it'll start going down. But since then, I've lost about 25 pounds, and it's gradually got bigger and bigger. The doctor is referred to as a buffalo hump, and I thought, oh my gosh, you know, is that how people see me as that animal with that hump on my back? It's very embarrassing, and I know people are looking when I go places. In order to hide it, I grew my hair out. I wear it down. My husband, like, he'll go to reach for it to hug me, and I will just dodge away from him. I won't even let him put his hand around my back. It's too hard for me to sleep on my back, so I have to sleep on my stomach or my side. I'm done. I'm so uncomfortable with this hump on my back. I just want it gone. Lydia knew she had a weight problem, but that buffalo hump was just way too embarrassing. We sent her to board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Sandra Lee, who's not only familiar with this condition, she can actually treat it. So Lydia has excess fat deposits, and they're in a little bit of an unusual place. So we're gonna take care of this fullness here. I'm just gonna feel around, because I'm gonna feel, yes, that is definitely fat there. <laughs> and right here, too, we have fullness in your shoulders, little shoulder pads. I think that would be really, really nice right there. I'm excited. So you just relax here, okay? Okay, Lydia, now that we've numbed the area, we're doing liposuction. We can see the fat coming out. Looks great. We use these really small cannulas with these little holes, because it makes it more precise. We wanna keep this nice and smooth and even with as little trauma to you as possible. I can't feel anything. I already have 200 cc's. So that's a great difference already. And you see before, we would not have been able to pinch like this. We took about 400 cc's of fat there, so almost half a liter. I do believe that we're done. No more hump for you. And when we return, we'll meet Lydia to see if that buffalo hump is gone for good. We'll be right back. And joining us now to reveal if her embarrassing back hump is gone is Lydia, as well as board certified dermatologic surgeon, Dr. Sandra Lee. Welcome you both so much to the show. And Dr. Lee, I know there's a bandage still on Lydia's back that we're going to remove to show the results of this procedure. Yes. Lydia. You ready to show everyone? Yes. <laughs> and just, it was just done this week. Actually, yes. It was only done a few days ago, right? So she's, she's still recuperating. It actually looks really good the day after. And then it gets a little more swollen, but really wonderful. We removed about three quarters of a liter. So 750 cc's, that's about three or four cups of fat. Really, it obstructed her movement. You know, it was like wearing an airline pillow everywhere you went. Well, I, I so, think one of the better applications for liposuction that we mm -hmm. do to permanently remove fat from a right. given area, in Lydia's case, she had that sort of, not really that odd, because yeah. we do see it when you get that so-called buffalo hump deposit. In fact, you can see it with certain disease states. Mm -hmm. in, those, in those situations, you sort of need to get the disease under control first. Absolutely. But then you can come in and use liposuction. But, but liposuction is a great modality right. to permanently remove right. those, that quote, finger fault, that area where her body is depositing right. fat. So what do you think? Should we take a look? Yes, let's Lydia, do it. Lydia, you will stand up. I'll stand up. I'm going to I'm gonna let your, your surgeon there this pull off way. your... We're going to pull off your bandage here. It might be a little pinchy just because the skin's a little sensitive because it's only been a few days. She has a couple little kind of like add it, little holes that we make that we remove the fat from. And um, a little bit of swelling, but really she can go back about her business. This is done yes. under local anesthesia. All right, and so let's compare that before and after. Yes. We have the back, compare that now. Yeah, really those pumps. And let's, let's turn her towards me, Lydia, great job. Your before from the side and the before now. Yeah. Or the after. Good. Looking good, Lydia. Doing great. And 
it's still a work in progress. That right, skin's right. going to shrink down, swelling go down. Right. You can have a seat back. And I, and I love the, the great takeaway here, which is there are some situations when people develop this buffalo hump where you have to rule out serious medical problems, mm -hmm. get those addressed. But in Lydia's case, where you're just having some extra fat deposit in this area, there are solutions available. But Lydia, I also know that you, you know, this is a good procedure for someone who's ruled out the medical causes, right? Mm -hmm. Lydia, yes. I know you're also looking to, to just lose more weight overall, right? right? Because when we have too much weight, the fat really is looking for places to deposit itself, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and in her case, it wanted to go to her back, among other areas. So we actually have a little gift basket for you, Lydia, to help you on your journey. Actually, a scale so you can weigh your meals, water bottle, yoga mat. I'm also giving you a signed copy of my book, The Doctor's Diet. Look at I him there. To help you lose weight and keep it off in a safe way. Because in the end, this is just the start of a journey, right? right. To hopefully even better health. Yeah. And uh, we're it's so glad. It's a wonderful kickstart. It really motivates Thank her. It's going to motivate her, and she's going to keep on going and losing more weight. Yes. Did That's you say yoga good. mat? A yoga mat to boot. Yeah. <laughs> so, for the best of luck you. on your journey, Dr. Lee, is always a pleasure. Thank you. We'll be right back.